guys. Not sure I'm getting this or not or whatever, but <clears throat> my daughter got to drive it on the speed run day. I'm going to drain the rest of that battery before I get it recharged. And Oh, she flies, man. She flies. We got 30 miles an hour on stock. We're going to recharge this battery and see how well it runs on the uh, track. It's been raining pretty much non-stop. Well, drizzling non-stop. So. We had a break at 2 today, so I figure what the heck. What the heck? Let's rip it. So I got to drain the battery anyways. And then what we'll do is we'll do a see how the Urgenix 50C goes with this. And this does handle the grass. Just fine. Now the steering servo doesn't seem to be too much different, but I haven't run the 124008 in a bit, so and mine is set up different. It doesn't have the stock shoehorn on it. But it is different than the original, so and it might be doing better. But it is slower, so. We have less of that problem. 30 miles an hour ain't bad though. She's a ripper. I dig it. Fun car. Got 100 bucks worth it. You want it to go really fast, get to get the 3S version, get the brushless version. But if you're planning on upgrading and you got some stuff to upgrade with, it's a great platform. Our plan with this, we're gonna take it. Woo! We're gonna take it. <laughs> wow! Whoa! We're gonna take it and uh, put a 360. The goats are hooting. They don't like the cars. I use them to corral them. But anyways, um, we're going to put a 36, uh, 3650 in here with at least an 80 amp. We'll see what we can really do. Maybe even do 4S. I don't know. If I can get this to a 60 mile an hour car, I'd be pretty happy. That's doubling its speed for like 30 bucks upgrade, you know. She's running pretty good. So we did the speed run out of it. Sat for two days. And we got a good 10 15 minutes out. Now, this is only 1300 mAh that it comes with, so there ain't a whole lot to it. Whoa! <laughs> She's still alive. Now, the reverse ain't nothing. It, it takes a double click the way it's set up. But I'm not going to get into messing with the ESD for that. That's what you get with stock. Just keep that in mind. These oil filled shocks are great. They're pretty great. Just like all the other WLs. Now the ones on the 1420 or 124008, I did have leaking problems, so we'll we'll keep an eye on that. You know, I ended up upgrading the Gem RC on our basher, but half of that could be because of bashing. But she's a sweet car. like and subscribe and all that and check this car out now I think our uh, Urgenics might sell I know they sell WLs I don't know if they sell this one see they're still going still going strong but I think that might be enough where I can charge her now and then we'll get some real time off of the 1300. So let's see how warm she is. Hopefully you guys can see. This is my old camera. It's what I had on me. It's not even warm, guys. It is cold today, but this thing's not even warm. They did something right with this. This is a bigger motor. You might use that on another WL. Swap out one of the stock. One twos or one four fours. My daughter likes to brush cars, so 
if she ends up wanting to keep this brushed, maybe we'll just do a brush upgrade. Get like a 12 turn or one of those fancy ones like you guys use all the time. On my Tamiya buddies. I don't know nothing about the brush motor world, but it seems to be a whole different segment of the market. Um, anyways. Hope you dig. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you when I see you. Peace.